Have you forgotten your iCloud account password and want to remove any lock from your iPhone for free? If so, stay until the end of the video to find out how to do it. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install a custom iOS to bypass any lock on your iPhone. Previously, in my last video, I showed the process on another iPhone where we could see how by installing a modified firmware from the GMZ Mermany site, we managed to flash the device and thus regain access to the iPhone. To do this, we will need two files that you will find in the description or on the official website of the firmware creator, bsmgermany.com. In the download firmware section, you can find the necessary modified iOS for any iPhone or iPad model. In addition, we will need the Pliest file, which is responsible for signing the modified firmware on the iPhone and is compatible with any iPhone model. First, we must sign the firmware to be recognized as valid. It is a very important step that many people forget to do. Let's open the PLIST file and copy all its contents. Well now, let's paste it in the following folder. Follow my steps and go to the three tools folder and there look for the file called iDeviceInfo and there inside paste all the content. Perfect. Let's start by connecting our iPhone in defu mode to three tools and opening the plist file we downloaded. Now let's install the modified firmware on our iPhone. Press quick flash mode and then the flash button. The process usually takes a couple of minutes. While we wait, I will explain that this method is totally free and removes the lock permanently since we are installing a modified firmware that will reset the internal information of the device. This way, when the iPhone connects to Apple servers, no lock will pop up. Well, while we wait, I would like to tell you that this firmware has been specially designed to bypass the iCloud lock restrictions and reset the internal settings of the device. The PLIST file is essential in this process, as it contains specific instructions for signing the modified firmware. By pasting its contents into the iDeviceInfo folder inside Through Tools, we are paving the way for the software to recognize and apply the necessary modifications to your iPhone. Once we connect our iPhone in DoFu mode and open the PLIST file in Three Tools, the installation process of the modified firmware starts. During this process, the software interacts directly with the internal components of the device, resetting its settings and removing any existing locks. The customized firmware acts as a sort of master key that allows the iPhone to connect to Apple servers seamlessly. 
being specifically designed to bypass iCloud locks, the device is recognized as authentic and legitimate, allowing for seamless Apple account linking. After installing the modified firmware, a complex process takes place that resets the iPhone ID values from the root. On a technical level, the custom firmware performs the following actions. First, Partition Restore. The custom firmware rewrites the iPhone storage partitions, removing any locks associated with the iCloud account. This is accomplished by resetting partitions related to authentication information and configuration files, allowing the device to sign in with a new Apple ID without restriction. And second, base firmware modification. Custom firmware also makes changes to the iPhone's base firmware, which controls the internal workings of the device. These changes allow bypassing the security checks associated with iCloud lockdown, thus providing full access to the operating system and all iPhone features. By making these changes to the system, the modified firmware achieves a full reset of the iPhone ID, allowing it to function in perfect condition without lockout restrictions. This includes full SIM card functionality, the ability to connect to Apple ID, and use all features and services associated with the device. It is important to mention that this method only works with modified firmware from GSM Germany and is not officially supported by Apple. This is a free and legal alternative technique used by some users to unlock their devices and regain access to the full features of their iPhone.
Once the installation process of the modified firmware is complete, our iPhone will reboot. Let's skip the initial steps and it will take us to the main screen. As you can see, calls are working smoothly and we can link our Apple account without any inconvenience. Thank you very much for following this tutorial. Remember that only subscribers have access to the private Telegram group where I will help you solve any doubts.